All right, welcome to 5655 East Sahara Avenue in the Terrasanta Community Unit 2037. It's a second story unit. You can see right out the front door here, the proximity. There is the pool and spa there. Looks like it's still gated up, so it's not in use yet. And then if you actually come down the stairs, you'll see the clubhouse is right there. The front entrance is going to be on the other side, right over there, up to the community. So, coming back up the stairs into the unit, you can see kind of where you're situated in the community. There's the edge of the community. Again, this is a smaller condominium. I think there's 13 buildings here. So it's nice and shaded right here. You got a big tree there and everything. So coming in, this unit is identical to the other unit as far as layout is concerned. Um, it is not updated though. And I'm not gonna lie, so I don't smoke, but obviously I know what tobacco smoke smells like and a remnant of it does smell like um, uh, someone that smoked lived here. I don't know if either of you smoke, if that bothers you, but you know, that smell will go away eventually, of course, and you know, most of this unit is carpeted, so a lot of that, um, those fumes and that smell is probably in the carpet, so I would replace the carpet and probably uh, fix the issue quite a bit. This one's got the balcony. A little more privacy on the second story balconies, of course, you can see, especially because, you know, you're looking out over the pool and the clubhouse, not out onto the parking area. Ah, this one I can actually open up. You can see there's plenty of storage in there. Water heater. Looks like it was manufactured in 2010, so it's about 12 years old, the water heater. Come back in, you do see, it does have a screen door, a little bit of wear and stuff, but screen doors are easy to replace. So, coming in, like I said, you've got carpet throughout the unit, with the exception of, you know, wet areas in the entryway. Entryway looks like original tile. You've got linoleum with some pretty severe damage. You're going to want to get this replaced quite quickly. Um... You know, these, you can actually see, I don't know if you can tell, but these are moving and all loose. Um, looks like, you know, there's a little bit of rough in the cabinets and everything. Some of these don't even really shut right. You can see that kind of bows out. This one's all loose too. So, you know, I would say... The whole kitchen, you know, if you, it just depends on, you know, if it's a vacation home, maybe it doesn't bother you too much, but I would definitely replace the flooring, of course, and, um, you know, everything else is livable for now, but you're going to want to replace it eventually. Appliances are included on this one, so fridge, washer, and dryer, everything else is um, assumed to be included. There is no built-in microwave on this, just a vent, and... Oh. It's not even vented to the outside, it's a little sticky. Um, not even vented to the outside, so it's just an internal, you know, filter that it has, that it runs it through. Dining area right there, just like the other one, you've got lights, kitchen area, dining area, entry, and living area. You come into the secondary bedroom, transitions to a different color carpet. Lots of stains in here. You can see definitely going to want to get this replaced. Reach in closet there. Built in fan. No blinds on this one. So you can see, you have to get some blinds for sure. Coming out into the hallway. Bathroom. Again, you have linoleum flooring. Original flooring for sure. Original cabinets, sink, and shower tub combo. Got some kind of residue or something up there. Not certain what's going on. Might just be some, maybe they sprayed it up there by accident one time, but. 
linen closet. So you can see this is how deep it is and what it looks like when it's not stacked from top to bottom. It's actually a plug in there, which is interesting. Going through here, washer dryer, Kenmore, um, you know, they look pretty old. Nothing special really. Master bedroom again. So hallway carpet transitions to bedroom carpet. Again, lots of stains I can see throughout here. So just replace the carpet, it'll look a whole heck of a lot better. Window to the outside. So without the king size bed and everything like that, you can kind of see kind of a blank canvas, what that looks like. And then again, linoleum in here. Let me see if I can figure out what it is. So very same exact layout as the other one. Looks like you got a little bit of separation between the caulking and the linoleum there. And looks a little rough, the door. In fact, even that's going to have to get something done to it for certain as well. Um, you know, sink and everything like that. So, I mean... The price point, it's a second store unit, so, or second floor unit, you know, you pay a little bit more for those typically because, like you see, you have a little more privacy in the balcony, you don't have people above you to worry about, and as long as you're okay walking upstairs and everything, um, it's not that big of an issue. Um, especially this unit too, I mean, it's tucked away back here, nothing really to, um, you know, bother you as far as people. That being said, I mean, the price is competitive at $199.5. It just depends on, you know, what you want to do. If you are if you want it to be, you know, look like new or new-ish, you're looking at replacing all the flooring throughout, even the baseboards. I mean, they look a little dingy. Those can easily be painted, though, so not a big deal there. Um, but, you know, replacing all the flooring throughout, a new coat of paint, and definitely replacing maybe some of the light fixtures, appliances and then the kill kitchen and actually the counters and counters and cabinets in both bathrooms i mean you're going to want to gut all of this and if you do all that i'm certain that the cigarette smoke will or smell will go away because you know it's in the fibers and in the paint and everything so doing all that will help it um, but as far as cost to do all that you know i'm not a contractor so i can't quote you on prices or anything but i mean you've probably done stuff yourself in the past or you have some familiarity so you know it's not going to be cheap to do all those things however it's a smaller unit so I mean flooring throughout you're under a thousand square feet of flooring that's not too bad and then you know it's not like the kitchen is huge but it is a good size so you know it's going to cost a little bit of money to renovate everything replace the appliances if you want you know don't even know if these are functional or if the gas is on I mean, I hear the spark, but I don't smell any gas coming out, so I'm not even certain the gas is on. Things like that. I mean, this flooring is, you know, just absolutely falling apart. I mean, you can see. I'll get you close-ups of all that. So, yeah. Um, you know, if there's definitely work that needs to be done. But at $199, maybe it's in the budget, you know. It leaves you, you know, some money on the bank, hopefully, to be able to do those things. So if you have any more questions, you want to discuss more, um, get some ideas, you know, I can, again, I can't quote prices or anything. It's outside of my purview, unfortunately. Um, but I can maybe give you ballpark ideas um, and stuff like that. And we can discuss that on the phone. Okay, thank you.